What's up, VC? Uh, Stavros, back at you from the den. Uh, got some recent additions, some spins, and a VCLT package that made me very happy. Uh, long overdue video for the VCLT. Um, so let's start with that. Um, Paul, Baraka P Dub, let's be honest, if you subscribe to my channel and you see my channel, you probably already subscribed to Paul's. It's I love his channel. It's as educational as possible. He shows stuff all over the map. Um, his music matters selections, along with brief histories of the jazz artists, is phenomenal. He's doing a behind the dead wax series that's unreal and teaches you so much about the labels. Um, just a great, great channel. If by some stretch of the imagination. You're not subscribed to Paul, you should do so. Baraka P Dub, get on it. So he, uh, one of my videos was uh, Record Store Day. How I didn't find certain things I wanted. His Record Store Day video, he mentioned how the store he went to had a bunch of stuff left over, and he mentioned that one of the items I was looking for, they had like three of. So I shot him a PM, said you know if possible. Uh, get that for me and I'll pay you. If not, no problem. Uh, he said, if I make it back there, no worries. Two weeks later, I get a package from him and it's got the record. Um, you know, so, you know, I didn't open it. I didn't think it was VCLT. I didn't open it on the camera or whatever. So I kept asking him what I owe him. And finally he got back to me and just said, consider it VCLT with the smiley face thing. So, Sorry I didn't open it, but I didn't think it was VCLT. He's a scholar and a gentleman, and he's so generous. So here's what he sent me, along with the record. Sent me a sticker of this. Uh, I can't read Russian, even though they use a Cyrillic alphabet, and I'm Greek, and I can read Greek. Expedition 47 patch description. Pretty cool. My kids love it. I believe he works for NASA, but you can ask him. A space shuttle pin. My kids are going crazy over this. And an Apollo coin. This is Apollo, what mission? Not Tom Hanks' mission. Apollo 17, not 13. Not the Ron Howard film. But <laughs> here's what, excuse me, here's what he got me Clint Mansell featuring Cronus Quartet. Requiem for a Dream soundtrack. The awesome Darren Aronofsky movie that is disturbing as all hell. Uh, set in some college town on the eastern east coast. Involves drug use and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. And honestly, I don't remember a lot of the movie other than the really disturbing parts. I haven't seen it again. But Lux Eterna, which is on this, or pieces of this, several times. Um, this on Nonsuch Records, released this year, by the way. Uh, first time on vinyl. Just black vinyl. Nothing really crazy to show. You've heard Lux Eterna. If you haven't heard it, if you look it up, L-U-X space A-E-T-E-R-N-A, -E and you hear it, you'll know it. But Paul... Thank you so much, man. Um, I've been looking for this, and it's overpriced online. I haven't found any record stores around Philly. Uh, I can't thank you enough. I'm going to send you something, but I've been stressing about it since I got this. What the hell do you get somebody that's got everything you want? Um, but I'll think of something. I'll figure it out. So, Paul, Baraka P-Dub, check out his channel. He probably doesn't need... A schlub like me plugging his channel, but you should do it. Thanks again, man. Awesome VCLT. Next up, Psychic Temple 3. This is on Asthmatic Kitty. It just got released last week, two weeks ago, three weeks ago. So Psychic Temple is the pseudonym for Chris Schlarb who has released three albums under this moniker, Psychic Temple. The first one was pretty much 
solo, they dub it avant-garde jazz. Really, really good, really interesting. I don't have it on vinyl. Um, I'll, I'll find it at some point. Uh, Psychic Temple 2, they brought in Sufjan Stevens, who's also with Asthmatic Kitty, and they added some, some uh, vocals. But it was still fairly jazzy, if you will. This is not. This is a full band, a lot of players, a lot of instruments. I heard the fiddle, I heard 12 string, I heard the trumpet, I heard the sax, I heard... So there's a couple of tracks on here that you'd call jazz, there's a couple of tracks on here that you call pop, there's a couple of tracks on here that you call rock. It's all over the place in a, in a good way. I mean, I dig the album. Um, it's available to stream, so check it out. Maybe it'll... <clears throat> maybe you'll dig it. The thing that bothers me about this is I got my copy from Asthmatic Kitty. Record was all scuffed. That's fine as long as it sounds okay. I get it. Pressing plants are dirty. But the spindle hole was too small. I couldn't spin it. So I emailed them immediately. We'll get you out a copy. In fact, we'll play it to make sure it's playable. Great. <clears throat> so I get the package back. And all it is, is a, it's not this. This is my MoFi sleeve. A lot, they literally just sent me a white record sleeve with the record in it. This is from the first batch. So I don't get it. And obviously the spindle hole has been messed with. I mean, look, I can easily take a knife and make the spindle hole bigger. So if you did that, Asthmatic Kitty, bully for you. I'm keeping it. I'm not returning it so you don't have to swallow it. And it's a shame because the music is really good, but the pressing is, it doesn't sound great. There's, and obviously the record scuffed, the wax is scuffed, but I mean, what are you going to do? That's, look at Baraka P. Dub's Behind the Dead Wax thing and he talks about it. I mean, for the most part, other than RTI, QRP, like you're going to get shit pressings lately. Whatever. Next. I believe Flipside CT showed this months ago. And I sampled it, jumped all over it. This is uh, Beaver and Krauss, Gantarva. There is ambient, there is gospel, there is rock, there is everything you would want in an album in this. This is the blue cover version on Warner Brothers from 1971. And you can find it for cheap. Flipside, if it was you that showed it, thank you so much. If it was not you that showed it, sorry to whoever did show it. But I dig it. Really good stuff. Uh, I used to be a member of Vinyl Me Please. You guys all know. Switch that to become a member of Egon's Now Again Reserve. So I missed a couple of uh, releases on Vinyl Me Please. I think it was Weezer's Pinkerton, which Weezer never did it for me. I... Honestly, I don't know why everybody loves them, but and the other one was the Fuji's the score. Uh, I believe Paul Baraka P Dub showed both of those because he's a member. But then I found out that Vinyl Me Please June selection is teaming up with Now and Again Now Again Records and Egon to release this. Wells Fargo, watch out. Beautiful gatefold. So Wells Fargo is a band from Zimbabwe, um, and this is the first time on vinyl. This they have a really, really dope twenty-page booklet with tons and tons of liner notes and awesome pictures. So, they dubbed this Revolution Rock, right? I mean, this is early 70s. Rhodesia is splitting. North and South Rhodesia are splitting into Zambia and Zimbabwe, I believe. And this is Revolution Rock. Like, there was secret government police attending these guys' shows to report back to the government on whether this is an uprising type of music and insidious music. And you know what? It was. Um... I'm not going to do the summary. Uh, there's write-ups. VMP did a write-up. If you Google Wells Fargo, watch out. 
Um, you'll read all about it. I mean, they changed lyrics when they knew that the government sent their teenage spies to their gigs to report back on whether or not this band should be arrested. Um, early 70s, African rock, obviously influenced by Jimi Hendrix, Chuck Berry, Elvis Presley, and it is really juicy. Really good. Um, I used to really care about colored pressings. Now I don't really give a shit. But this is pretty sweet. Yellow and green vinyl, marble, whatever. Zimbabwe has some yellow and green in there. Flag. Great sounding record. Press great. Anything that Egon and now again do, I'm in. All in. Because it's music that is lost to the world. If they can track down the artists, they pay them. And this is a phenomenal, phenomenal release by Vinyl Me Please. It's historic. First time on vinyl. And I am so happy to add this to the collection. And I will be spinning the shit out of this this week. Oh, and how'd they get their name, Wells Fargo? They loved uh, comic books. And the guy was reading a comic book about cowboys and the Wild West. And there was a stagecoach with the words Well Fargo on it, guarded by a man with a shotgun who was protecting the bank coach. He didn't know it was a bank. He named his band Wells Fargo because of the outlaw element in the comic books, which I thought was really cool. This is for Flipside CT. I haven't spun this in a while, but Rolling Stones live at the Checkerboard Lounge with Muddy Waters. Trifold 2LP set comes with a DVD, which, by the way, the DVD is worth the price of admission. Now, you know, rumor has it that Muddy Waters was playing and the Rolling Stones went to watch him and then they got up on stage to play with him. Uh, my understanding is it was all set up and set up to record and all that stuff, but this is on white vinyl. I love Mighty Waters, I love the blues, and I love the Stones. And this is heaven for Stones fans. This was released, this is originally 1981. This is the reissue they did, uh, Eagle Vision Records in 2014, I believe. Sounds pretty good. Uh, certain tracks, not so good, but some of them are astounding. Uh, Great Heart Playing by Mick. And muddy is muddy. So check this out. Steve Gunn. Eyes on the lines. I have no idea what that is on the cover, but it looks creepy. Uh, this is on Matador. Recently released two, three weeks ago. Steve Gunn was a guitarist for Kurt Vile and the Violators. He's done a bunch of stuff, and I happened on one of his solo albums, and I love his guitar work. This is just straight out good American guitar rock, alt rock. I hate labels. It's good music. He's a good singer songwriter, and his guitar work is is legit. So check him out. Spark. This is So Live with Carl Denson. So Live is a trio jazz funk fusion band. Carl Denson I've spoken about before. Uh, sax and jazz flute player. Love him to death. Um, this is an e a four song EP with only Spark being an original. And uh, they did Povo by Freddie Hubbard, Nubian Lady by Yusuf Latif, and Soul Sides by Farmer. And this this cooks. This is great. I love it. Um, maybe I'll give you a taste of Denson and Soul Live because they were here live recently. Good stuff. And you can find this really cheap on Discogs. Royal Headache. Uh, 
This is their debut album, I believe. I got the album they released last year, and I thought it was new and different, and I never heard anything like it, and I really dug it. I think Panique showed it and said he enjoyed it as well. So I was trying to find this. It was like 40 bucks on Discogs constantly, and finally one seller dropped it to like 15 Um This is their self-titled. Uh, when was it? 2010 on What's Your Rupture Records. Both All the records have water towers on them. I, I don't know what their infatuation is on water towers, and they're both in black and white. Good theme, I guess. Uh, as far as this is concerned, this is Garage Rock. They sound a lot like Green Day on this. It, it didn't. I didn't enjoy it as much as their newest album, but I'm glad I could add to the collection. Krang Bin, Nighttime Stories, The Universe Smiles Upon You. Krang Bin is a trio from Texas, and they do Thai funk. Um. This was this is Nighttime Stories, so released in 2015. Nighttime Stories is an offshoot of Late Night Tales. They work with them. This is on white vinyl, I believe. Thai funk, mostly in instrumental. There are some good vocals in here. I had a rare morning where I could actually listen to drink some coffee and listen to tunes with no one at home. And I put this on. And if you dig nice guitar and flowing flowing guitar and nice bass sounds and Thai funk. I cannot recommend this enough. Krang Bin. So you can see the band's name so I don't have to spell it. Very juicy. And I showed this before. Last but not least, the juiciest of the juicy of this deck. Um, I got this on Record Store Day Used because they were having a deal. Giles Peterson in Africa. Um, I showed it, but I hadn't played it. God damn, this is good. This is excellent. If you like funk, if you like rock, if you like West African sounds, South African sounds, this is phenomenal. And one of my favorite, never mind. This is the favorite Giles Peterson album of my own. I now have like five of them, I think. Um... And mostly, you know, it's not him. It's him compiling tracks from other artists. But this is unbelievable. A compilation of African tunes. Funky is all hell. Um, I know Baraka P. Dub was looking. He comes. He, he's the special guest star of this video. Paul, I know you were looking in Giles Peterson stuff. This is it. This is the one you start with. It's phenomenal. And I've tried to track it down to send it to you, and I can't find it. But I'm sure you can. Uh, it's on Discogs. I'm not going to order something from Discogs and have it shipped to you. I want to send it to you. So um, check this out. Anyone who's into Giles Peterson, anyone who's into funk, check that out. That is it. 18 minutes. That's a long one. I didn't think it was going to be that long. My bad. Thanks for watching. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think. If you've heard of these artists, like them, don't like them. Um, other than that, check in next time. Peace from the den.